This is question 58 from the GATE 2022 EC paper where we are given the following op amp circuit and are asked to find out what the value of the output voltage V0 is. Underneath the question you will find the title of the MPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So before we start this question, a little bit of background. Suppose the circuit were as shown below where you have V3, V2, V1 and V0 then what you would get is if you notice this is an op amp in negative feedback and so as long as the output swing allows it you will have that the virtual short causes the minus input of the op amp to be zero so now if this is zero imagine that you are doing now a superposition theorem to analyze how much current is how much current is flowing through this 2r resistor as a function of each of these independent voltage sources. So first let's see what will be the component of current that is only due to V3. So now imagine all of these are grounded. Right? So if they're all grounded and this is grounded due to virtual short, then this is 2R parallel 2R. Right? This is now R. But then this is R series R. So that's 2R. But then this is again 2R parallel 2R so that's R and this is R series R so that's 2R so like this you can reduce this whole circuit right to one series resistor called 2R going to ground right so the idea is that you have a 2R going to ground here and then this whole circuit can be reduced to a 2R going to ground here so these two will be in parallel that is the 2R over here and the 2R over here will be in parallel so that is R. So this is going to be 2R in series with 1 R going to ground. That's all the entire circuit reduces to. So what will be the current out of V3? It will be V3 by 3R. Now you can do a similar analysis over here on the left and right. Like for example, this whole thing will just be a series resistor 2R and this whole thing will just be a series resistor 2R, right? When you are doing the V2 analysis, that is when you are doing the homogeneous, uh, that is when you are doing the superposition theorem analysis for V2, this will be grounded, this will be grounded, this will be grounded. This whole thing is just a 2R to ground. And this whole thing is also just a 2R to ground. That is, this is this and this is this. Right? And this is this node. So this is V2 and this is 2R. So now what will be the current again over here? It will be V2 by 3R. So each source pumps in that source by 3R. But what happens? The current that this source pumps, it will go half here and half here. You now it's the same resistance on both sides, so the current will equally divide. So every time you come across a node like this, you should just half the current, right? So it will go half here, half here, right? So this is going to be half the current. Then half here, half here, so this is going to be quarter of the current. And then this is going to be 1 8th and 1 16th. So what will be the component of current through 2R as a result of V3? It will be V3 times 3R times 1 by 16. Right? Similarly, this similarly for V2, this will be V2 times 3R into 1 by 8. Because remember, V2 goes through one half in here, one half in here, and one half in here. V1 will be the component of current will be V1 by 3R times 1 by 2, the whole square, because it goes through two halfings. And finally, for V0, it will be simply V0 by 3R times 1 by 2. So the idea is that the current I will be v3 times 
1 by 2 to the power 4 because it goes through 1, 2, 3 and 4 halves plus v2 times 1 by v3 by 3r v2 by 3r times 1 by 2 power 3 plus v1 by 3r times 1 by 2 power 2 plus v0 by 3r times 1 by 2 right and what will be the output voltage here the voltage here is 0 volt and this will be 0 minus i into 3r right and this is i so v out will be minus 3r times i which will simply be v3 times 2 power 4 plus v2 times times 2 power 3 plus v1 times 2 power 2 plus v0 times 2 will be a minus sign over here because it's minus 3r times i so all we have to do is recognize here that v3 is 1.6 and v1 is 1.6 and v2 is 0 and v0 is 0. So v out is going to be v3 by 2 power 4 with minus times v3 by 2 power 4 plus v2 by 2 power 3 plus v1 by 2 power 2 plus v0 by 2 power 1. This is simply going to be minus of 1.6 by 16 plus 1.6 by 4 right which is minus of 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 which is minus 0 0.5 that's the answer is minus 0 0.5 volts